Hello everyone, this is Colin with Sweeney Engineering and today I'm going to show you how to install the silent diver for the Poseidon Cyclone regulator system. The kit you purchase should include two plastic muffler components, four stainless steel nuts, four stainless steel allen head bolts, two o-ring gaskets, and an allen wrench. You will also need two flat blade screwdrivers to complete the installation, preferably with smaller blades. And of course, you will need your Poseidon Cyclone regulator. First thing you have to do is unscrew the end of your regulator. Take the, the end and turn it counterclockwise. next part is to remove this little clip. That's what you need the screwdrivers for. Place it on a flat surface and gently pry the clip off. Careful not to let it spring off and uh, run away from you because it can certainly do that. Once you've got the clip off, push the stainless steel component out of the plastic sleeve. set that aside for now. Then take the larger of the two silent diver components and slide the stainless component inside of it, like so. It should be flush with the back side here. Then replace the clip. you can install the cap piece. Take the flat cap piece with the gasket side and leave the gasket side upwards and install both gaskets. They should fit neatly in the provided grooves. Once you've got your gasket centered, go ahead and place the regulator piece squarely on the cap piece. It should line up perfectly and you'll have a little gap from the uh, gaskets. It does go on one way, so if you have it off by 90 degrees, you will notice that they don't line up perfectly. Now you can place your stainless steel nuts in the countersunk grooves for them. And then one bolt at a time, go ahead and start the uh, bolts to get them tightened in. Okay, once you've got them all started, go ahead and tighten them down, keeping your the gap on the gasket even all along. Once you've got all of them tightened up, take the second stage regulator, make sure the needle fits into the plastic sleeve and make sure the o-ring here is still properly seated and reinstall the second stage regulator. I want to turn it backwards to make sure you have it properly threaded and not cross threaded. And then tighten it until it's snug. That's all there is to it. If you go and use this on your first dive and find that air bubbles are leaking out either on the outside ring here or on the inside around the button, it's possible that one of the gaskets isn't seated properly and to correct that simply loosen up those four bolts, reset your gaskets and retighten them. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.